Hey, what's up everybody? Andrew Steele here. I'm with my buddy, Big Tony. And a lot of you have probably been wondering, who is this Big Tony guy? So today we want to tell you a little bit about Big Tony's background, who he is, and what he's doing hanging out up here washing RVs with me here in South Dakota. So if you could describe it in two words, who is Big Tony? Uh, I mean, gentle giant. Gentle giant. Two that's, words. Two words. That's that's the truth. Uh, definitely, uh, if, if I had to ask everybody that I know that knows Big Tony, uh, two words. That that's probably the best two words that would sum up Big Tony here. So, so Big Tony, where are you from originally? I'm from South Carolina. That's where I was born and raised. What part of South Carolina? Columbia. Columbia. And we met in Fountain Hills, Arizona. And what brought you from Columbia, South Carolina to Fountain Hills, Arizona? My mom moved here because her job, so. Moved, moved out with mom. Yeah. So, and then, you know, before you met me, you'd been in Arizona for a while. What were some of the jobs that you did and what did you do to stay busy in Arizona? I've done a lot of customer service work. Um, I used to be like a really good mover. Oh I yeah. actually help people start businesses, you know, moving companies, you know. From what I've heard, Big Tony is a legend in the moving industry, and just the few little things he's had to help me move, I can see why uh, why they liked having him around up there. So, um, a couple years ago, I'm trying to think of how Big Tony and I, uh, we just had a mutual friend that said, hey, you know, uh, Big Tony would be a good fit to help you wash in RVs, and, and uh, I don't know what... what I remember that day, you were like, man, I didn't feel... He, like, he was so excited, like, you know what, this guy could probably reach our whole, our whole coach to the top of the coach, you know? I gotta <laughs> try you out, you know, and then from there... Yeah, we, we've set some <laughs> records. Uh, Big Tony and I have washed and waxed some RVs in some record times, and... Uh, definitely have done very well and, and um, that's why he's up here in South Dakota with me so what what made you you got everything going on down in Arizona your whole life and everything what made you decide to you know hey I'm gonna jump in an RV with this dude and his dog and go wash RVs in South Dakota what I mean honestly I really don't have responsibility I have no children you know I, you know, I, I'm able to do this, you know. <laughs> yeah, I've never been married, don't have any children either, and that's one of the, the big uh, freedoms that allow us to have this kind of free spirit lifestyle. And uh, so, yeah, it's kind of an adventure. So what what enticed you, though, just to come up here, just the money? We, we all know, you, know you like the money. I, hey, look, I dropped money down for rent for two months, you know, a couple months. I'm, I'm set for all my rent, you know. That's a plus, you know. <laughs> yeah. well, that's the responsibility I do have is rent and electricity and all that. Paid that. But, you know, I was like, you know, let me adventure. Let me see what the world's got, you know. Absolutely. <laughs> and uh, this, this last two weeks, so it's been like eight days, and I think we've only washed two coaches and a few golf carts in the last eight days. So we've had a lot of time. We've made a few videos um, touring Deadwood, South Dakota. That was a lot of fun. Uh, touring all the RV parks. And uh, we've just been doing a lot of, we played a, a game of basketball. Not too very many of you watched that video, <laughs> but we appreciate the few that did. And even YouTube like sent me a notification, like don't make any more videos yeah. like that. People aren't clicking on that. So we, we won't do any more basketball games, but I'm a man of my word. We said we were gonna play basketball for you guys. So we did, so, but, uh, so we, we've been able to just kind of rest and chill up here. Uh, you've been here for 12 days in South Dakota now. What, how do you feel? What, what do you feel about South Dakota? It's, it's, it's I don't know. It, I don't know. It, it, it's a magnet. It, it, it brings you in, you know, like, I don't know. The, you can breathe better. The atmosphere is great, you know? <laughs> it really is. <laughs> how, how have the people been treating you up here? I, honestly, I, 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 of all the states I've lived, I've never been treated this way. It's, it's awesome, you know. You you would think, you know, you, you you know what I'm getting at, you know what I'm saying? And and it's like, you know, <laughs> they love me. But the people of South Dakota have been so nice to us. And Big Tony, I've been coming up here for nine years, and Big Tony's gotten, you know, more people have uh, uh, tried to buy him a drink, or uh, we haven't even really been going out to the drinking. We now we have gone out a couple times, Big Tony. Uh, we went out just for a few hours in Deadwood, and then we went out for a few hours in Spearfish just to get a taste of the nightlife. <laughs> but uh, we we're not going to be hanging out too much out there. No, but uh, yeah. but when you did go out, exactly, we're here we're here to make money. So hopefully Green. the 
<laughs> if you remember in the Prevo tour video, it's gotten over 30,000 views. And uh, Big Tony had a kind of famous uh, saying. I asked him, uh, you know, what was his favorite color? And what was your answer in that video, buddy? Oh, yeah, definitely the green, because it reminds me of money, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so, so yeah, we're chilling up here. Hopefully, we have some more RVs to wash soon. And... Um, uh, show Big Tony around South Dakota. We still got to go to Sturgis. Uh, you know, what what are you excited? What are you what are you um, looking forward to doing while you're up here? Anything else that you want to do? You've seen spearfish. You've seen deadwood. I do want to venture some of the bear country area. I, like, I mean, I heard just a bunch of bears, but totally into it. You know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll be doing that soon. So we'll we'll bring you guys on a video tour of bear country. It's uh, a wild a drive through wildlife park with all kinds of different animals and stuff. So that'll be wow. something fun to do. And uh, right now, we'll, we'll show you a couple, we'll go recap to a couple spots that Big Tony's been, and Big Tony will tell you about those spots. So we'll see you guys here <laughs> in a second. And so this is where Big Tony comes to do his laundry here. Barbecue here, Big Tony. What do you? Uh, how do you like Dickie's Barbecue being in walking distance to the RV park? I can't complain. You know, <laughs> I'm enjoying it. How long of a walk is it from the door of the RV to uh, Dickie's? About a good five minutes or less. Depends how quick you want to get up here. <laughs> By foot. I just love being so close to the barbecue. <laughs> this is the Max Stack and it is yummy. Looking at there, bro. Oh, it's like a weird black back over there. <laughs> <laughs> so you like this little walk here, bro? Oh yeah, it's a super big. I don't know what they're cooking over here, but it do smell good, though. Thank you for watching today's video. Please subscribe.